Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to make a really nice and refreshing dish. If you like Japanese cuisine, today we're going to do a tuna tataki. A tataki is a technique where you just cook at the very outside of a piece of protein that you're making. So in this case it's tuna, but it could also be salmon, it could also be a beef fillet. Um, and that's what it uh, separates it from other techniques. So today we're going to serve it with a sauce and I'm going to give you a few tips of other things that you could serve it with, but this tuna tataki you can use for salads as main course with maybe some sticky rice and a few veggies it's really really nice to know how to make it especially if you like raw tuna as always if you want to see the full recipe then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes also if you like this video if you like tuna if you like tuna tataki don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this tuna tataki, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. We're going to start with the sauce. So in here I already have all the ingredients for the sauce, and it's done really, really quickly. I have soy sauce, I have some sugar, also some rice vinegar, and also uh, cornstarch. And the cornstarch is just a tiny bit of that ingredient because we don't want it to be thick but we do want it to be more than just liquid because if it's too liquidy then it's going to fall off the fish when we serve it and we want it to cling onto it. To make this it's really simple, we're only going to bring this to a boil and after it comes to a boil we're going to let it cook for about a minute while stirring so that we make sure that the cornstarch is getting cooked through. While our sauce cools down, we're going to prep our tuna. So I had two steaks of tuna that I've cut into nice wedges. Um, and you don't want them to be too thin because then you're going to overcook them. And I like how it looks like this, but of course it could also be just a whole steak. And you can just fry it and have it as a main course like we talked about before. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of sesame oil to them and I'm going to use this to stick the salt and the pepper onto the tuna. Now you don't want to season it too heavily because remember that this sauce has soy sauce in it which is salty. And then I'm going to use the oil to stick my sesame seeds onto this. They are toasted and you want to cover them with sesame seeds but you do want to remain uh, to keep the ends of the wedges without sesame seeds so that you can see how they're cooking and you don't overcook it all the way to the center. So we add the sesame oil and then season with salt and pepper. Then you're going to spread the sesame seeds over a board and we're going to roll our wedges of tuna over them so that it sticks using the uh, sesame oil that we spread before. We sear the tuna on a pan that is really hot with vegetable oil and you want to sear it for 10 or 20 seconds per side. If you don't cover the edges with uh, sesame seeds, you're going to be able to see as it cooks because the meat will change color to gray. Once it's ready, you're going to remove it from the pan and place it on a dish with uh, kitchen paper to absorb the excess oil. Then you need it to cool down completely before you cut into it or if you're like me, I prefer this dish cold. So I will leave it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours before I slice it or you could even have it ready the day before you want to eat it. And then I like to serve it like our carpaccio. I will spread out the pieces of tuna on a dish and then serve it with the sauce that also needs to be at least at room temperature if not cold. This time I served it with cucumber, avocado and also radish sprouts but of course you can serve it with other toppings as well. The must-haves I think are the tuna and the sauce.
At the very end, I also found some chives in my fridge, so I decided to include them. So I've already tried this because I was taking photos of it and I wanted a photo where uh, the, this, the dish was almost, not almost empty, but like with a bit already eaten. And so I ate some and it's delicious, but I'll try some with you anyway. Mm. I love how the sauce goes with the tuna because even if tuna is a strong flavored fish, like more than other types of fish, uh, the sauce helps it be milder and so if you're the kind of person that's a bit picky about tuna then you will definitely love it. I'm obsessed with tuna so I'll eat it with anything. The tuna and the sauce I think are definitely a must-have and then you can vary up the toppings however you like. You could add maybe some sets of citrus like lemon or orange or tangerine. You could even add some segments of them in here as well or maybe you like some pink pepper. All of those things will work really, really well with this. And like I said, this uh, tuna technique where you just sear it on the outside, you can use for salads, as main dishes with a bit of rice, and the sauce, of course, you could also use with other types of fish. Now for the cucumber, I only use the outermost part of the cucumber because it's the crunchier and it's also nice and green, but do not waste the center. Um, I use it to flavor my water. If you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, don't forget to send me your photos, upload them to social media using the hashtag RecipeCJ. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below and also clicking the bell so that you can get a notification every time that I post a new video. If you want more recipes and tips, you can follow me on my other social media as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. I think I have sesame on my teeth. <laughs>